Hello guys and welcome back to the crazy Minecraft video where today the villagers have gone ahead and invited us for a wonderful mission where they want us to go ahead and help them out build a wonderful mob house which I think is going to be awesome so let's go ahead and speak to the villager and let's go see how we can help. Hello Naveed, we have some special villager construction workers today that are going to build some mob houses for us. We will use them to defend the village against evil monsters. They will start construction now and once they are done, add some furniture as well as some golems to protect it. Wait, what villager construction workers? Whoa, <laughs> there's so many construction workers down there and I have a feeling they're all ready to go ahead and start building and I think they're all wearing their safety hats. Yep, this is going to be perfect. Well, villager workers, get started and hopefully this can be really awesome. <laughs> we literally have a villager right around here, super excited to get started. And there they all go. Hopefully they won't take too long in going ahead and doing it, but I can already see they're pretty much removing all the objects they won't need. Well, let's make our way up to back to the villager and hopefully inside the chest he has some wonderful surprises for us. He did mention he wanted us to go ahead and build some items inside the house. So let me take out all these furniture blocks and hopefully there should be enough space inside to pretty much do this. And I'm also hoping that the villagers won't take too long. And right inside this one we do have some golem heads as well as loads of blocks which I think is going to be really cool. Hopefully I can already go ahead and see what they're building. So I think they're filling it up as much as they can with core blocks, bone blocks and even white wool which is going to go ahead and give it a wonderful different aspect. And it seems like there's going to also be some leaves on the outside. I think this is going to be the best structure they've ever done. But I can already see that there's some villagers on their break. But I think this is going to be one of the fastest builds they've ever done. And whilst we wait for that, let me go ahead and put some furniture on the outside. I'm going to do the park bin right around here. Because I'm sure as all the golems go about destroying things, we can throw them all away. And I do think we have some other items we can probably use up outside. I do want to probably go ahead and do the dog house right around here. Which I'm hoping later on we can go ahead and get an iron golem pet. This will be so cool. And I'm hoping that we have some more items inside the chest that we can use up later. I'm probably going to have to focus on using the rest of these items later on. Because as of right now, the villagers are super busy. Well, maybe we should give them a couple minutes to go ahead and finish. And once they're done, we can go ahead and move into the iron golem structure. It's going to be perfect. Let me just take out the last two items and we should be set. Villager, I'm totally ready. Let's go ahead and do this. But guys, before we go any further, I do want to give a shout out to Hamzam as well as Solari for being members of this channel. If you guys want to get a shout out as well, all you got to do is go ahead, press the join button below, and very soon you'll get your very own shout out. As well guys, the villager has just reminded me that the majority of you aren't subscribed yet, so head down below and press the red subscribe button along with the notifications bell. Well, let's go ahead and give them a couple more minutes because they're almost finished and hopefully we should be able to add some furniture. All ready to have a look? I think they're finished and it looks awesome! This is the best golem statue I've ever seen and they want us to move into it. I can see they've literally added everything they could. So right around the top you've got some trap doors to add as this little crown and you literally got vines that you can climb up as well and reach the top and enjoy yourselves. And they've even added leaves some for more effect which I think is actually a great idea. And they've even missing a few blocks. This is the best house ever. Well, if we want to move in, I'm guessing we're going to have to go ahead and break our way through. So let's remove these blocks, and perfect! And I think we should be able to move in right around here. Well, let me get started, and hopefully this can be the best house we've ever done. I'm going to do my bed right as you walk in, with a bedside cabinet, as well as a lamp. And you can see everything is going to be pretty bright, so I'm hoping there should be enough space for everything. Let me add my table on the second level, with our andesite chair right around this side. And I do think we should have a few more items if we head up, which I think this is why they've given us the ladders. Okay, so I'm going to add some ladders right around here, following ourselves all the way to the top. I'm perfect! And I'm guessing this is his head. This is so crazy. 
But I'm only going to use this room as storage. So hopefully this can be a pretty good space to store everything. Let me add my uh, blocks of quartz right around here. And perfect. Let's add our crafting table, our chest, our safe, as well as some books. Let me do the safe right down here. Let's do the chest right on top the furnace, and then the crafting table, and then we can fill up the rest of the spaces with loads of little books. Perfect, and we can do hopefully another one right inside here if we can, or let's just do it right there. And awesome, slowly by slowly, we are fitting everything in. But let's not forget about the golems that they want us to go ahead and place later. Let me first take out all the items though, because we still have so many more to go ahead and do. And slowly by slowly, we should be able to finish them up. I was thinking I can go ahead and add the cork board right around here with a telescope right outside so we can see everything at the night time and have a quick look at our little golem. And then I was also thinking we have a world globe that I could add right around here. Here we go. This is going to be perfect. Awesome. And let's not forget about our sofa right on top. And all we got to do is right click and it'll take us to the next level. And I did notice they've given us loads of flower pots that I'm just going to scatter around everywhere. So we've got our first one, and then we have a few more right around here. And let me do my modern sliding door. And perfect. And awesome! <laughs> this is going to be the best door ever. Let's add our doorbell. And good. Let's also go right back inside to add our food on our table. And perfect. And if we go around here, we should have our final few flower pots right around here. So we got one, and then a little basketball net right around there. And perfect. With our basketball right around here. See, slowly by slowly, this whole house is fitting in perfectly. And let's not forget about our trophies that I could scatter right by my bed. Let me do one, and then the zombie trophy right around here. And perfect. And I think we've literally only got one more flower pot to go ahead and do. And then we can go ahead and do our golems. Let me do it right around this side. Well, villagers, this has been the best house ever. But now is my chance to go ahead and spawn for you guys so many wonderful golems that you're all going to love. Let me start with the slime golem. Hopefully this will be a perfect addition. So do one, two, three, and four. And then we do the golem head right on top. And there we go. <laughs> Hopefully he will go ahead and protect us against all the evil zombies. And to protect the villagers, let me go ahead and do an obsidian one that I think is going to be really crazy as well. And awesome. And let's go ahead and spawn for him a wonderful friend. Like the glowstone one. I'm going to do this one right around here. There we go. I'm hoping that the villagers are going to enjoy this very much. And it's going to be a great protection for all of our houses. Let me go ahead and do uh, the diamond one right around here. And hopefully this one can be pretty awesome as well. And there we go. And look how cool he looks. This is going to be the coolest one yet. But so far, none of them look like our house. I was hoping we would have one that was very similar. Maybe even a quartz golem, but so far we don't. Let me also go ahead and do the hay one that I think is going to be pretty crazy. And perfect. And there we go. Sadly though, the hay one is really weak. So only a few hits from some zombies and he will go ahead and be destroyed. Let's also go ahead and do the magma one. And then the final two, which is going to be the bookshelf. And then the golden one, which I'm hoping are going to be really passive ones. Perfect. And let's go ahead and do the final one, which is going to be the golden one. <laughs> and look at his glasses. Well, let's go and do this. I think this is going to be so insane. So we've got one, two, and three, and four. And there we go. Well, guys, what do you think? We've literally spawned everything, and we only have a few items left. Hopefully, now this should all be strong enough to go ahead and fight off an evil zombie apocalypse. Let's go and test this out. And here we have it! A full zombie army fighting against all our golems. So I can see we've had a few golems join us from the village. So I think we've got an extra obsidian one and then an extra different type. But that's going to be pretty scary right now. And I'm also really glad that none of the construction workers are seeming to be zombified. Which I have a feeling has got something to do with their hard hats. Okay, let me rush over and let's go and check up on our wonderful golems. I'm really hoping right now that even the golden one will go ahead and try and protect us. But look how many zombies there are. <laughs> I'm a little bit worried that they might go ahead and try and make their way into our house. Okay, I'm going to need the help from all of these golems again. But look at them. They seem to be pretty strong in going ahead and fighting one at a time. No! 
Oh, the giant slime one has been destroyed because I've just picked up some slime balls. Hopefully they can go ahead and help us. I am a little bit worried though that these golems aren't going to be strong enough. Some of them are even hiding in the village, which I'm going to need their help right now. Come on, help us out. <laughs> okay, perfect. It seems like if we hit them, he'll go ahead and join us. There we go. I knew it. Well, I think it's going to take a very long time right now to go ahead and fight every single one off. But I'm kind of hoping our house should slowly by slowly be protected. Which I think we're doing alright right now. I can only see a few zombies left inside our neighborhood. And if only we had some wolves to go ahead and protect us. Well, let me make my way in. I'm perfect. Let's close this door and let's go make our way up. I'm hoping if we maybe break our way out right around here, we should be able to get a better look. Here we go. Let's go and see if this works. <laughs> yes, I think it does. And I also do think if we make our way down, we should be able to go ahead and fight them off with only using minimal items. Perfect. Keep going. Now, I think this should work in the long term, but I don't think the golems are going to help us out right now. I think they've got all their hands full right inside. But the amount of zombie flesh we're going to pick up later is going to be absolutely insane. Good. The baby slime golems are still alive. Ah! There's literally zombies everywhere. Okay. Where's all my golem friends? <laughs> I can't see them getting destroyed by every single monster. And we've even lost a magma golem. So we've only got two little baby golems right now, which is pretty awesome. Ah! How are they making their way up onto the roof? This is pretty insane. Let's jump over to the other side and there we go. Well, guys, I think we've done it. These golems are going to protect us very well. And I'm also hoping our house is going to be fully protected as well. So, guys, let's go and thank the villager for the wonderful help they've given us today. And hopefully they enjoy their wonderful new statue of the Iron Golem. Villagers! This has been so awesome! And I'm so glad all the construction workers are still doing okay. Well, guys, it's been super fun today going ahead and building this wonderful statue. So don't forget to like this video, subscribe down below if button is red, and don't forget to go ahead and press the notifications bell. And, guys, I'll see you all very soon. Peace out.